To pouch a colostomy, perform hand hygiene and put on gloves. I want you to hold on to that. Then perform an assessment, which includes checking the existing pouch for leaks and assessing the surrounding skin for irritation. Next, place a disposable waterproof barrier or towel under the patient. Now I'm going to take this off so we can see how your skin looks underneath it. Gently remove the existing pouch and skin barrier by pushing the skin away from the barrier and pulling the pouch toward the stoma. If needed, use an adhesive remover. Then dispose of the old pouch. Well, there's always a spot where it wants to stick a little <laughs> bit more than every place else. All right, now you use a clamp on now the Now assess the size, shape, type, and color of the stoma. stoma. <laughs> also notice the amount and consistency of effluent and check for any skin irritation. You can use a cleanser if you want. Mm -hmm. Next, or gently clean the patient's peristomal skin using warm tap water and gauze pads or a clean washcloth. If you do, use soap, do not scrub her skin. Afterward, dry it completely by patting with gauze pads or a towel. Dry washcloth or you can use... I'm going to measure your stoma. If and needed, measure the stoma to determine the correct size pouching system to use. If the skin surrounding it is irritated, apply ostomy powder to treat the skin. Then remove your gloves. Select the appropriate pouch based on your assessment findings. If the patient will have a custom cut-to-fit pouch, use an ostomy guide to cut the pouch opening 1 16th to 1 8th inch larger than the stoma. Then remove the backing from the barrier and adhesive. Now put on gloves again. If the patient has creases near her stoma, fill them with stoma adhesive barrier paste and let the area dry for one to two minutes. Then apply the skin barrier and pouch. The barrier. For a one-piece pouching system, okay. press the adhesive backing of the pouch or skin barrier smoothly against the skin, starting from the bottom and working up and around the sides. Holding the pouch by the barrier, center it over the stoma. Then anchor the pouch on the stoma, vertically for a patient who is mostly ambulatory or horizontally for one who is mostly supine. Now press down gently on the barrier and apply gentle finger pressure around the barrier for one to two minutes. For a two-piece pouching system, Apply a barrier paste flange as you've just seen for the adhesive backing on a one-piece pouch. There we go. Then snap on the pouch. For either type of pouching system, Gently tug down on the pouch and observe the integrity of the skin barrier and pouching system. Check for effluent tracking under the edges of the pouch, which may indicate a leak due to a skin fold or wrinkle. With any type of pouching system, add a small amount of ostomy deodorant to the pouch if desired. 
If the patient desires, apply an ostomy belt. And come on. To ensure that it's not too tight, slip two fingers between the belt and her skin. Your fingers should fit comfortably. Ensure that the belt fits the patient comfortably. If your patient has a drainable open-ended pouch, fold its bottom up once and close it with a clamp or as instructed by the manufacturer. For extra security or when the patient showers, apply non-allergenic paper tape around a pectin skin barrier in a window frame pattern. As part of your follow-up care, auscultate the patient's bowel sounds. If the patient requests it, spray the room with air freshener. I'll be back to check on you a little later. Thank that you. That went well. Thank you for letting me change that. Thanks. Bye-bye.